We welcome William McGirt into the interview room. You came, shot a four under 66 today. You're right in the mix. Tell us your thoughts going into Sunday in the final round. I'm just looking forward to uh, another good day. Have fun playing with Robert tomorrow. I love playing golf with him. Um, he's one of the most laid back guys out here, which helps me a lot because I can get a little bit too into the round. So uh, we were laughing and joking all day, just having fun out there. So looking forward to it. Let's take questions. Um, William, you talked earlier in the week about you know, not really being familiar with this position before. I'm not going to ask you about how you think you'll handle tomorrow, but how, did, how do you feel you handled today? I think I handled it pretty well. Um, it had helped playing with Robert and Scott. You know, we got out there and just had fun. We were laughing and joking all day. And, um, you know, hopefully, I know Robert will be laid back tomorrow and we'll probably make fun of Brent, his caddy, all day tomorrow. So give us something to do. So it, it's going to be a lot easier, you think, the fact that you'll be paired with him? Yeah, mu much easier. You know, he, he kind of knows what to say at the right time to me. Um, you know, he just walked by today. I was a little miffed at not driving it in the fairway. And he walks by and, and said something funny, and I just busted out laughing, kind of take your mind off of it. What, what would that be? What would what be? I don't even remember. I just busted out laughing. That's, I mean, Robert being Robert, so it was fun. Well, I mean, the first one on four was, was a great birdie because I hit, uh, hit a good tee shot. And with the wind in our face today, I can't get it up top. Um, and it was probably three or four yards short of getting up to the flat just in the first cut. And it was a decent enough lie. We only had like 245 front, right around 260 hole. And um, normally off an uphill lie like that, I block it every time. So I was playing for the block and double crossed it, hit a tree, and it actually ended up perfect. Um, was in the rough, but I had kind of a good angle to pitch the ball. Um, just laying it just short of the hole or short of the green, let it trickle up there and hit a good putt and made it. Then uh, the drivable par four, um, I hit it in the grass bunker left of the green. Had the entire green to work with, hit a great pitch in there to about six or eight feet. Um, it kind of misread it. We thought it was turning left and it was pretty much dead straight and it still snuck in the right side. Then uh, hit a great four iron into six and uh, snuck about a 20-footer in there. On 17, the first chip you had right of the green? Yeah. What was that? We didn't. It, it was a terrible lie, and we completely misjudged the lie. Um, we thought I could get more club on it, and I was trying to hit a low kind of scooting shot and, and just run it back there. And uh, the clump right behind the ball was, was a lot spongier, and it was much softer than we thought. Um, all the practice swings I took, it was pretty firm. Um, and just, I wish that I had the lie for the first shot that I had on the second shot, because you could just go ahead and hit it. Um, and that, that was actually one of the best up and downs I've had all week, because it was a really thick lie, and uh, to have that much green um, and to hit it to three feet was pretty darn good. William, are you sensing you're going to see the best of this golf course tomorrow? Is it going to get a little bit firmer, do you, fig do you figure, especially the greens? Well, the greens definitely firmed up today. Um, you know, you didn't really see anybody ripping wedges back uh, off greens today. Um, so you were starting to get a decent first bounce on some holes. Um, there were a couple of times where we were playing for a softer bounce, kind of flying it to the number and uh, watched it release. Uh, my four iron on six released probably 20 or 25 feet. Um, it hit just short of hole high and, and almost released through. So, you know, yesterday that ball would have probably released maybe five, six feet. Visually, do you like what you're looking at out there? I do. I love uh, old traditional style golf courses, and this one definitely fits the mold. Um, Donald Ross is my favorite architect, and this has a lot of Ross characteristics to it. What you've done this week and, and last week, um, probably a silly question, but do you ever wonder where that switch was back in February or 2008 or whatever? Why now? Yeah, and, and the funny thing is, it's not like I'm playing a whole lot better than I did the previous five weeks or four weeks, however many, going back to Hartford. You know, I played well at Hartford. I just didn't make any putts. 
I played well at Congressional. I couldn't get it close to the hole and I was playing defense all week. I played pretty well at the Greenbrier and everything burned the edge. Same thing at John Deere. So it's not like I've played that much better the last two weeks and I have the last you know, five or six. It's just that putts are kind of going in now instead of burning edges. Um, you know, I'm, I'm hitting a few shots around close now, um, but, but the main thing is, knock on wood, the putters decided to show up. But to answer the other question, yeah, I wish I'd have found that switch back about six or eight years ago. <laughs> Anything else? William, we appreciate your time. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for everybody coming.